Darren the Magic Ghostbuster here, back from New York, and this video is just showing off all the merchandise I managed to track down. Um, got some from Ghostbusters Day at the Firehouse, and then we managed to get some other bits around New York. Um, not as much as we would have liked, um, because obviously Ghostbusters Frozen Empire promotion has tailed off a bit now, so... Um, but I think we did pretty good, considering. So, um, I've got a big pile down here, so I'm just going to go through it um, one at a time. So, let's... Show you this first thing, which is a t-shirt I got, which is still a little bit damp because it has, it has gone through the wash since we got back. But I really love this. This is, this was from Forbidden Planet over there. I don't know if they're the same company as the Forbidden Planet in the UK or not, but uh, it's basically an I Love NY New York t-shirt with Slimer on. And uh, really like that. I wore that on the uh, last day. Um, and then at the firehouse, they were selling these 40th anniversary special hook and ladder t-shirts on the Ghostbusters Day itself, which apparently sold out completely. They're not making more of those. Uh, absolutely love that. Absolutely love it. I think that's a brilliant t-shirt. And then, so, ah, let's just keep on theme of the firehouse. So, um, they had Joe Cirillo uh, signing autographs there. Uh, so, got a uh, signed photo by him. He was, of course, the police captain in Ghostbusters. You should be able to know that by the photo. If, you, if you're if you looking at it, have no idea who he is, then you're watching the wrong video. And he also had his book there, which I've not got round to reading yet. But there is his book. Um, so, he was actually a real police officer. Um, and he has signed that for me as well. So, very much look forward to reading that. And then they also had John Rothman, who was the uh, librarian. Uh, in the original film and in the recent Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Uh, so I've got that signed by him. And another cool thing, which um, the New York Public Library do bookends of the two lions, Patience and Fortitude. So I had this brilliant idea, which the rest of the guys uh, agreed with and did the same, of buying one of those and getting that signed by him as well. So that is signed by the librarian from Ghostbusters. Um, these worked at about $65 each with tax. So we bought, uh, I think we all went with Fortitude on the uh, day before Ghostbusters Day to get that ready. And then before we left, uh, a few of us decided we needed Patience to go with it. So we went and bought Patience as well. Um, all right, let me just make sure I put that down safe. Let's just put that down there. Uh, right, so there was that. Um, did pick up the Ghostbusters franchise playing cards as well. Um, luckily, someone did sort uh, our group out with those. Only got the one deck. Kind of regret not getting more, but I've had, had a few people offer to sort me out. So, uh, something I'll uh, arrange at some point. Uh, I've not opened them yet. I'm not deciding if I'm going to open these or keep them sealed yet. But um, I did get in those. So, very cool. Uh, this poster was being handed out on... So... Frozen Empire poster. So that they had three posters and uh, different designs. So let's just move that out of the way as well. So yeah, they were handing those out. I don't know how, uh, there was a few things that were handed out. I don't know how many of each were handed out. So um, yeah, very cool. All right, and then um, we were lucky. I decided to check a Regal Cinema. Um, and they had some of these left. So we got a popcorn bucket and a cup. So that was from the Regal Cinema. Um, it was Simon who had arranged the playing cards. Uh, his friends sorted the playing cards out. And they also sorted out these cups. I can't remember what cinema these are from. So if you know, uh, let me know. Um, so there was that. Then we also went in an AMC. And they had some of these left, which are like bag clips. So we got uh, the engineering logo and Slimer. So we had those. We went in the Toys R Us as well, uh, which was at the top of Macy's. Got one of these finally. These did not come out in the UK. Um, so it's basically the Mob Blaster just painted in different colours. So you know, Hasbro like reusing their stuff. And also the same for the Frozen Empire Ecto-1. Unfortunately, none of the figures to go with those that we uh, found. Um, and also got this tin sign uh, in, I can't remember the name of the shop. It was uh, like a Halloween party shop, and uh, the name completely escapes me. Uh, got one of these ducks in five below. I already have one of these. In fact, I think I've got it right behind me. 
but different packaging. So, us collectors, you know, <laughs> any change and we're on it. A ticket from Statue of Liberty, we went up into the Crown, which was really cool. Uh, these cards were handed out on Ghostbusters Day. Um, James accidentally left mine with, or well, left his with me, so uh, I'll give it back to him if he's nice. Um, so Adam Murray, who played the truck driver at the end of Frozen Empire, was there. Um, I love that scene, absolutely brilliant scene, and I got a mini puffed signed by him. So uh, that was very cool. Um, also got this friendship bla bracelet by uh, from best Stay Puff cosplayer I've ever seen as well. So that was very very cool. And then got these coins. So these were limited to two per person. And uh, very very cool. Apparently they only had a f uh, made a thousand of these. I've been told. I don't know if that is hundred percent true. Um, and and I'm not really sure. I've read that they have some of these left. And they're going to put them up for sale shortly. But I spoke to someone who went in as the line died there, and they were told they're sold out. So I don't know if they took them all, took them all there to sell or not, or if they if they're going to get more. Oh, that's just uh, fell on the floor. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I've got two of those, um, and then everything else was like loads of patches. So I took ten patches to trade, and. You know what, honestly, I should have took more, because I uh, got through them rather quick. So, um, let's show you some patches I've got. So, I've got Ghostbusters Collection Patch. We've got uh, the, the Shrek Family Ghostbusters Patch. Um, brilliant to finally meet Jeff, lovely bloke, uh, brilliant family. Uh, we've got this one. Uh, got another, I've done a, got, got a few of them now, so I've bought another one of them. That's obviously the Hook and Ladder Patch. Um, one of their magnets. Uh, Hasbro were there and they were uh, previewing the the four new figures and uh, I didn't see it but they were apparently showing off the two in the box as well. I somehow missed that but they were handing out these badges um, and this uh, looks like uh, it's the tease for their upcoming HasLab the end of the year. They haven't said what it is but going by the logo and everything it's got to be a Plasma Series Ecto-1 for the Plasma Series figures. I'd be shocked if it isn't. Um, we've got some more patches there. Uh, this, I thought, was a brilliant uh, 40th anniversary patch. Uh, patch and sticker. And if I was Sony, I would have contacted this maker and had that like, official. Because that is brilliant. That Love that. Uh, picked up loads of business cards. Um... There is a Hasbro one here somewhere that had the uh, QR code. I've got it somewhere. Uh, had a QR code for pre-ordering the new figures. So, I'm not sure if I've got it on me, but uh, I've got some Moogly Fan Club stickers. Uh, there was a young uh, young guy there whose birthday was actually on Ghostbusters Day, and um, had made those little patches and was giving them out. So that was really cool. Um, and then uh, we've got Massachusetts Ghostbusters, um, Razor Cult pin, I've been slime pin, so loads of different pins. Yeah, so a Reportal Ghosts pin who were there, um, Ecto Ordnance Core, um, Canadian, another Firehouse uh, pin. So, um, yeah, there's, uh, I did, like I said, I think I did pretty well considering, um, don't think I've forgotten anything, I think, I think that was everything, but, um, yeah, I think I did pretty well considering, you know, it all tailed off, um, and to be honest, I couldn't have fitted anything more in my case, I don't think any of us could, um, but, um, yeah, thanks for watching, um, let me know if you went to Ghostbusters today and did you get any merch, but until next time, keep on busting. <laughs>want to give a big shout out to the magic ghostbuster hey darren very very impressive